Gilbert Jaguar here with another Buildcraft video. Today I want to cover the changes to the combustion engine that are coming to 4.1.0. So basically what has been done is that the engine heat mechanics have been reworked and the way they cool down and heat up so that they're not quite so annoying. However, there is some caveats in particular that biome temperature affects the heat up and cool down rate of the engines. Now, right here in this biome, I uh, well, in this area, I have a desert biome and an icy uh, taiga, I guess taiga biome over here, which is cold. That one's hot. I've let these two engines heat up all the way to 100 degrees, which is as hot as they'll go before they'll start using coolant. So both of these are heated up. Now, I'm going to turn these off because when the engine cools down now, it uses coolant to cool down rapidly. So. What I'm going to show you is here we got this at 100 and I'm just going to flip this switch and you see the temperature dropping and the coolant dropping. It's going to drop all the way down to 20. All the way down to 20. And that used about two-thirds of the water in the engine. Now I'm also going to turn these engines here on real fast because it takes a while for them to heat up so we'll leave them running for a while. Now here's our other engine, our desert combustion engine. I'm going to flip this switch here and you'll see the temperature dropping and the coolant is dropping and you might notice that it's actually dropping quite a bit more rapidly than the one did over in the icy biome. This one's going to probably drain the tank completely. Yep, pretty much drain the whole tank. Now basically what this means, it affects all forms of heat up and cool down, is that you're going to oh, probably only be able to cool off two engines, or not two, maybe three engines with a single golden pipe in a desert biome, whereas you can probably do five or more in a icy biome with a single gold pipe. I should point out that forestry does have a better coolant that is made by bees. But uh, these other engines over here, you can see they're at, these ones are at 35 degrees. And we'll come over here. And you see this one is at twice that at 65-ish it was. So it's heating up a lot faster than the other ones over there. Now I would kind of like to heat them all the way up to 100 but that might take a while. Well not these ones necessarily but the ones in the uh, icy biome will take a while. But you see here I have ice now this feature has been in for a while, but I don't know how many people know of it. You can put ice in the slot and it will make water out of it and use it to cool the engine. Which you can actually probably pipe in more ice than you can water. So that makes ice a viable alternative to water if you uh, have a lot of engines you want to cool off.
Now we got the same thing over here, but you see they're only about halfway. I did kind of want to show you how far it cooled down on just a stack of ice. But uh, I think you kind of get the idea. Eh. I'm just going to turn these off now, I think. And we'll go watch the this one over here. See it drains the ice to make the water. As soon as it hits 20, you can start the engine back up again. That hasn't changed, so. But as you can see, it takes a significantly less amount of time. Oh, and the w heat's got to be above, like, 40 in order to melt the ice, so. But it cooled it all the way down. And it left 52 in the engine. Over here, this one is significantly cooler, so it didn't drain any. But I think you get the idea. So, anyways, that's the heat mechanics changes to the combustion engines. Beware if you're in a desert, or the nether for that matter. They're both quite hot, so. Oh, and good luck trying to cool a combustion engine in the nether. But anyways, uh, this has been another Buildcraft video by Covert Jaguar. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my videos. And don't forget to check out my Let's Play. So, it's Covert Jaguar signing off.